Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube channel. And this series is all about branding and marketing and business and money and so, so much more. So for this video, it's kind of aimed mostly at music creatives, people in the music industry, but I do feel like this can also relate to any industry when you talk about copyright and owning your product or whatever it is that you sell or whatever service you have, like um, owning the copyright, owning your masters, owning the copyright to your music is literally essential. And this has kind of become a bit of a hot topic over the last couple of years or so last few years because people are beginning to realize as like the independent wave is taking off people are starting to realize that the downfall of the majority of major label artists is that they don't own their masters and that's where they get in all kinds of situations where they can't perform their music after their um like when they're in a contract and stuff they can't perform their music without permission they can't do all kinds of things without permission so owning your masters is literally essential in the industry if you want longevity like if you want it to be long term you need to own the copyright to your music because then there's nobody that can tell you that you cannot perform it there's nobody that can take it down from streaming stores there's nobody that can remove the music video or like remove anything to do with the song you own it so you get to decide and oftentimes we're in a rush and we sign all kinds of deals especially like if you don't have money you can't afford a lawyer you're not like educated on the business side of the music industry especially in the olden days about the internet and stuff it makes sense why so many people would get sucked into shitty contracts and I know for me like when I was a bit younger in my teen years and stuff I would have easily just signed my life away and not had a clue what I was doing or what I was signing so it's definitely easy and it makes sense why it happens and it happens a lot but obviously now with the internet I feel like it's just so important to have the information out there and to do your research and like learn the business which is why i created this series because it's just so essential to learn the business because you are an entrepreneur at the end of the day no matter what industry you're in if even if you're like um painting pictures or whatever like no matter what it is that you do it's still a business even though it's your passion if you're trying to make money from it and you're trying to like support your lifestyle and support your family then it's a business so you need to know the business side of things and owning your copyright owning your masters is literally so important obviously there are certain contracts where like maybe you own your masters art and after a certain amount of time or whatever the case may be it's just really important to know what we're signing and understand when we get our masters back if we get our masters back are we signing them away and all of that kind of stuff you really need to know because owning your masters just allows you not only so much more financial gain but so much more control over your your whole career over your music but also over every aspect of your career and your business you know so it's really really important and something that not everyone really talks about but it's definitely something that's starting to be talked about so i wanted to just jump on here and share my perspective on it because i do think it's really really important and i know that we can be really like wanting to sign and wanting the like massive business that has all the connections and all of the money to just come and help us and like we're willing to sign whatever they offer but when it comes to long term you can really dig yourself a shit hole and be screwed over in the long run where you lose out on not only a lot of money but like it can stop you doing so many things because they own it and it's their right to stop you you know and you don't want to get in situations like that so just make sure that you pay attention to what you're signing make sure that you are aware of the business side of things and all of the legal things that happen and all of that kind of stuff I think I might do a video breaking down the royalties like the royalty splits and how royalties work and all of that kind of stuff because it's something that I learnt when I was studying music so it's definitely like really important things to know and to understand so that you can then go about building a successful music career.
so i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out the links in the description box for my music social media my phone number my merch just everything about me will all be in the description box below and also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload three times a week and you don't want to miss out and i will see you in the next video bye oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah i think you might i'm the thing you like in my range all white oh yeah i think you might i'm the thing you like in my range all white